Why can you spend hours inside a dream that feels vivid and real, for only to lose it the moment you wake up? How can something so clear vanish before your first thought of the morning? The answer has less to do with memory failure and more to do with how consciousness changes its language while you sleep. Forgetting your dreams is not an accident. It's an organized process that protects the mind from overload and helps the soul separate what it experiences during sleep from what it must act on during the day. Understanding this reveals more than how memory works. It shows how awareness itself renews. Is there any science behind forgetting dreams? It's always know that dreams occur during rapid eye movement sleep, when brain activity resembles wakefulness but the body is fully relaxed. In that stage, the hippocampus, the structure that turns experience into long-term memory, reduces its connection to the rest of the brain. This disconnection prevents most dream events from entering storage. Your mind continues to experience, but the recording system stays idle. That is why many people remember fragments for a few minutes and then lose them completely once attention shifts. The second factor is chemistry. During deep sleep and REM, levels of norepinephrine and serotonin drop sharply. These neurotransmitters are essential for stabilizing memories. Their absence allows the mind to reset emotional circuits without carrying everything into waking life. When they rise again in the morning, the information created during sleep has already faded. Forgetting is built into the biology of rest. Finally, dreams often occur in networks that handle imagination and emotion, not language. Those regions create sensations and stories, but rarely attach verbal labels. When you wake, the brain areas that process speech and logic become active again, but they find no structured words to recall. The experience stays as an impression rather than a narrative, and impressions dissolve quickly once new sensory input begins. 1. Dream memory serves the present moment. When you open your eyes, the brain must focus on the immediate world, light, sound, gravity and motion. Holding detailed dreams would compete with this need for orientation. Forgetting is therefore an act of priority. The mind clears the field for present awareness, ensuring stability rather than confusion between two realities. People who remember every dream in detail often report slower morning adjustment and lingering emotions that distort mood. For most, a clean slate is healthier. The nervous system filters what has symbolic or emotional value and lets go of the rest. This selective amnesia preserves psychological balance. Memory systems evolved to support survival in waking environments, not in dream environments. What matters after waking is what helps behavior, learning, or relationships. The mind naturally discards content that has no physical consequence. Forgetting is efficiency, not loss. 2. The transition. Between states erases the trace. The boundary between sleep and wakefulness is a biochemical shift that acts like a reset button. When consciousness moves from internal to external focus, electrical patterns in the brain reorganize within seconds. That transition interrupts the fragile network where dream memory exists. Even when a person tries to hold a dream, the act of moving, speaking or checking the time activates circuits that overwrite the temporary storage. The mind protects coherence by keeping only one operating system at once. Dream recall requires remaining in partial sleep long enough to stabilize the memory before full awakening, which few people manage. Some research shows that people who wake during REM remember dreams more often than those who sleep through the stage. Interrupting the transition gives the conscious mind a moment to copy the image before it disappears. Yet even then, retention is brief unless the dream is written or spoken immediately. 3. The brain treats dreams as internal simulation, not experience. Dreams function as emotional rehearsal. The brain tests scenarios, explores reactions, and integrates feelings that waking life left unfinished. Because these events are self-generated rather than external, the brain marks them as internal data. It classifies them differently from sensory experience. When you walk down a street in real life, perception involves input from eyes, ears, and touch. When you walk down a street in a dream, those signals come entirely from within the visual and emotional cortex, 
The hippocampus recognizes the difference and does not prioritize storage of simulations. That distinction keeps imagination from mixing with reality. This design prevents confusion. If every imagined or dreamed event entered long-term memory, the line between experience and creation would blur. Forgetting dreams maintains the credibility of waking memory and allows the mind to trust what it recalls. 4. Emotional intensity decides what survives. Although most dreams fade, certain ones stay vivid for years. The factor that determines this is emotional charge. When a dream triggers a strong physiological reaction, fear or grief, love, the amygdala activates and the hippocampus briefly reconnects to capture the event. Emotional significance converts short-term imagery into long-term memory. Studies show that nightmares or deeply moving dreams are recalled more often than neutral ones. The body releases small amounts of adrenaline, enough to awaken memory pathways without breaking sleep completely. That is why people often wake from emotional dreams with clear recall for a short period. The same rule applies in waking life. Emotion tags information as important. Dreams follow identical logic. The more a dream affects your state, the longer it stays. Forgetting, therefore, is not universal amnesia but emotional selection. 5. Sleep protects the mind from cognitive overflow. During a single night, the brain processes vast amounts of data, daily impressions, unresolved thoughts, physical sensations, and emotional residues. Dreaming allows these elements to combine and reorganize. Retaining all that information would be overwhelming. Forgetting prevents overload. The mind uses dreams to balance, not to archive. When the task is done, storage would serve no purpose. By erasing most of the content, sleep keeps the conscious mind free to function creatively the next day. This constant cleansing protects against anxiety and cognitive fatigue. People deprived of REM sleep often experience irritability and poor focus, showing that the process itself, not the memory of it, is what matters. The benefit comes from the reorganization, not from remembering the scenes where it happened. 6. The soul uses dreams for alignment, not collection. From a spiritual view, the soul interacts with the deeper layers of consciousness during sleep to restore harmony. Those interactions are energetic, not linguistic. When the person wakes, only the vibration or mood remains. Forgetting ensures that spiritual adjustments stay subtle and natural, free from mental interference. Each night, the personal field of awareness expands into broader levels of intelligence. The information exchanged there supports emotional healing and intuitive guidance. Holding full recollection could distort its meaning because the waking mind would interpret it literally. The soul prefers understanding through feeling rather than detail. This explains why some people wake peaceful without knowing why. The purpose of the experience has already been absorbed Remembering the story is unnecessary once the energy has completed its work. 7. Attention shapes what remains. Memory depends on attention. During dreams, focus drifts constantly. There is no consistent observer anchoring events. Without focused attention, memory traces cannot consolidate. Forgetting simply reflects the absence of observation. Lucid dreamers, those aware they are dreaming, often recall dreams more accurately because awareness itself records the sequence. Their focused state activates similar regions to those used in waking memory. The moment attention becomes deliberate, encoding improves. For ordinary dreaming, the observer is passive. Events flow without control or sustained awareness, so they vanish as soon as consciousness shifts. Training attention before sleep, such as through meditation or intention setting, can increase recall by preparing the mind to notice. 8. Dream forgetting. Maintains psychological boundaries. Human identity relies on clear separation between imagination and reality. Dream forgetting sustains that boundary. When you wake, your sense of self rebuilds around physical awareness, relationships and tasks. Detailed dream memories could merge symbolic material with factual life, causing confusion. Children, whose boundaries between imagination and reality are still forming, often recall dreams vividly and sometimes act them out. As the ego strengthens with age, the natural filter tightens. 
Forgetting becomes part of psychological maturity, preserving stability. Therapists working with trauma sometimes use dreams to reveal hidden emotions, but they do so carefully. Integrating dream material into waking awareness must happen gradually, otherwise symbolic content may overwhelm. Forgetting protects the unprepared mind until understanding is ready. 9. The brain prioritizes integration over storage. Sleep is a period of consolidation when the brain reorganizes learning and emotion from the day. Dreaming participates in this by connecting new experiences with existing memory networks. Once integration occurs, the scene that carried the process becomes unnecessary. The function remains, the form disappears. For example, someone who practices a skill may dream of it and later perform better, even if they recall no dream. The improvement shows that learning continued in the background. The brain keeps the result, not the recording. Forgetting demonstrates completion. This mechanism shows that the dream's value lies in what it changes, not in what it tells. The absence of memory is proof that the content has already served its purpose. 10. Waking up interrupts an ongoing process. Dreaming does not stop when you open your eyes. Waking interrupts it. The brain shifts from inner processing to external orientation, and that sudden switch cuts the thread. The unfinished sequences collapse before they can close, which makes them hard to retrieve. People who wake slowly, without alarms or immediate movement, report higher recall because the transition stays smooth. Giving the brain a few seconds of stillness allows partial access to the fading imagery. Once you engage in thought or movement, the pathway closes. This suggests that dream recall is less about intelligence or sensitivity and more about timing. Awareness must meet the dream halfway before it disappears into the background noise of consciousness. Forgetting dreams is not failure. It is evidence of a healthy system that resets every night. The brain, body and soul cooperate to filter what matters and release what does not. Some memories return because they carry significance, while most dissolve to keep life clear. The process ensures that awareness stays balanced between two dimensions of existence, the inner and the outer. If you wish to remember more, the simplest practice is intention. Before sleep, state clearly that you want to recall your dreams. Keep a notebook nearby and record any image or feeling as soon as you wake. Over time, this trains the mind to bridge the two states without shock. What emerges will often surprise you, fragments that reflect your current emotions, concerns and growth. Forgetting remains essential even then. The goal is not to collect every dream, but to understand the rhythm of awareness that produces them. Each forgotten dream still works silently, shaping perception, easing emotion and restoring balance for the next day. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.